This is my Physics 245 final project, worked on with Brandon Walters and Laura Palm. And the point of the project is to get a magnet to levitate midair using a solenoid electromagnetic controller and the circuitry that we designed. It's known that a natural magnet cannot levitate on its own uh, with another electromagnet. But it is with the synthetic field created by an electromagnet, you can do it as you can see. How this works is we have a small sensor in here that as the magnet gets closer, the magnetic field increases. And so what that does is it feeds back into this circuit, into this little comparator chip. And as it gets closer, this comparator chip will decrease the voltage going into the electromagnet, thus allowing the magnet to fall back down. The, magnet, the electromagnet, in a sense, becomes weaker. Um, as soon as it gets too far away, it, the chip again realizes a, a too low of a magnetic field and then increases it and the, the magnet will rise again. Um, it started off, Dr. Miller found this project. It's a junior and senior level systems controls project for MIT. And the project outlined a basic circuit. Um, we later found out that it didn't work that great. It was really unstable. And after about 10 seconds, the magnet would flutter out of control and either drop or stick to the top or something dumb like that. But what we were able to do is we were able to redesign our circuitry and get it to float very steadily. But we weren't happy with just that, so we took it a level further. What we have right here is a function generator. What that does is it creates a sine wave that goes into here. So now when we place the object in the magnetic field, you can see it float up and down. Not only will it just float up and down, but we have control over how far up and down it goes, how fast it goes, everything. That's our final project.